So how many of you have been told growing up that, hey, you need to straighten up your spine? Your mom and dad may have told you that, right? And they were correct. You know, a spine and a healthy posture is so important to your overall health, right? Let me explain to you why. Well, if you look at the spine, the brain connects the body through the spinal cord, right? And from there, there are nerves that branches out, which means that if there's any misalignment of the spine, it can damage the nerves, right? So a poor posture can consequently do that. So let me give you an example, okay? Take a deep breath in and breathe out, okay? And I want you to do the same thing with a poor posture. Breathe in and breathe out, okay? And as you probably know or felt, number one is actually a lot better. A good posture not only helps with your overall breathing, your lung function, but it also allows the spine to work at its best. Hi, I'm Dr. Anko. I'm a chiropractor right here in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. And I'm going to go over with you some of the exercises that you will need to know to actually help with overall spinal health, improving your posture, and improving your function. In the previous video, Dr. AJ spoke about uh, problems that arises from bad posture. So if you haven't looked at it, make sure to take a look at it. And also, uh, do like and subscribe and hit the notification button if you haven't done so, and put some comments down below if you have any questions about this particular video. At the Active Family Chiropractic, there are three components that we apply to our patients to improve their posture, right? So one of the most important aspects of improving one's posture is the chiropractic adjustment. Now, what happens is this. If, in fact, you have an area of the spine that is not mobile, right? and the rib cage is tight, your shoulder is rounded forward. Well, what happens is when you try to stretch, when you try to move and strengthen, everything is gonna strengthen only the areas that, not only strengthen the areas that is not mobile, which makes it even worse, right? But when you try to stretch, it will ultimately stretch only the areas where it's actually fairly healthy, right, where it's moving. So the chiropractic adjustments actually is applied to the area that is actually not mobile. So when we apply the adjustment, the chiropractic adjustment, we're actually improving the specific area that needs it most, right? And so if I were to use this model here, pre-adjustment, right? That red area, that area that is locked, that is not moving well, right? We will need to adjust it, get it moving well to improve the function, and thereafter, post-adjustment, you're going to have an improved function of that area of the spine. That is the you know, most important step, I believe. If you haven't seen a chiropractor, perhaps you want to actually get started with that first. Before you start these exercises, be sure to consult or talk with your chiropractor or your healthcare provider. So the first exercise that you're going to do is the pec stretch. Okay, so what you're going to do is this. If you put your thumb out like this. Bring it back. As you're doing so, okay, you're gonna contract your back muscles, right, as you're doing so, and you're gonna stretch out your pec muscles, your chest muscles, all right? Now, the next part to this is actually to tuck your chin in and look up, okay? Take a deep breath in, breathe out, breathe in, Breathe out. You want to hold it for at least 30 seconds up to 45 seconds. Okay, the longer you can hold it for, the better of a stretch, the more long lasting the effect will be. Okay? So important to breathe in and out as you're stretching. Right? Make sure, like I said, I'm gonna do that again. Jumps out this way, thumbs back. Okay, rotate your hand backward, look up. Chin tuck, look up this way, breathe in and breathe out. As you're doing so, remember to contract your back muscles and you're stretching out your pec muscles at the same time. So breathing in and out, anywhere from 30 seconds to 45 seconds. Do that a couple times a day, all right, at the very least. Right? And this is a good one to do, let's say if you're taking breaks from a seated position. So for the next one, you're gonna need a wall. You're gonna just walk up 
with your back against the wall, okay? Again, you're gonna contract your back muscles as you're doing so. You're gonna raise your arm up. Try to keep your elbow close to the wall as much as you can. And lower this elbow down. And up. Okay, try to keep your shoulder and your elbow as tight to the wall as you can. All right? Again, you want to do this anywhere from 15 to 20 repetitions, up and down. Okay? The more slowly that you do this, the more effective this is. And the more contracted you are with your back muscles, the better you would be. Okay? The whole point of this is to actually open up your chest, strengthen up your back, right? So that those muscles that are available to you for your posture will be recruited every time you're sitting and standing. Okay? The next move would be to use either a foam roller or a gym ball, right? A stability ball, right? We'll try it with the stability ball first, okay? So whatever you have, you can use. So say if you don't have a foam roller or you don't have one of these stability ball, perhaps you want to just roll up some towels, right? And make it nice and thick and you're going to be able to use it the same way, right? So I'm going to show you how to do it with a stability ball first. All you need to do for this one is just basically hang, right? So again, any stretch that you want to do, you want to breathe in, you want to breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out. Hold it for anywhere from 30 seconds to 45 seconds, right? You want to do at least two to three times of this, right? Again, same thing, breathe in, and breathe out. Breathe in, and breathe out. Breathe in, and breathe out. Okay? I'm gonna now show you how to use the foam roller. With this one, you're just gonna put your, you need, you'll need a foam roller that's relatively long, so you can rest your head right on the foam roller. Again, same thing. Arms up this side, Either this way or outstretched out this way. Again, the most important part, don't forget, is to take a deep breath in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Hold it for at least 30 seconds, up to 45 seconds. Do two, three times of that. So the next component of improving posture is to strengthen, right? So we're gonna need some bands, either one that looks like this or like this, all right? This one I actually got from the dollar store. So, you know, it doesn't have to be anything too expensive as long as it's something that you can use, all right? So for this particular one, all you need to do is grab the band just like so, okay? And you wanna start off perhaps at the end, so, so it's gonna be a little easier, right? And what you wanna do is you wanna pull back, all right? You're gonna contract all those muscles in the back and slowly bring it down, out again, and relax it. You're gonna do this anywhere from 15 to 20 repetition, right? Now, if you wanna make it a little bit tougher or more challenging, just hold on to it a little closer, okay? And exact same thing. Right, so anywhere from 15 to 20 repetition. None of these exercises should be uncomfortable or painful. If they are so, then you need to stop. Okay, a very another one would be to do some rows. Okay, so from here you'd want to hold on, and what you want to do is you want to squeeze those back muscles together right and let it down slowly bring it back now as long as the door can hold and the band is strong 
Then you can step a little farther if you want to have a little bit more resistance. Okay? So chest up, good posture. You don't want to do it this way, right? Remember, we want to recruit a healthy posture, so we want to make sure that you're doing a, these exercises with your chest up, head in a good position, okay? So back, relax, tighten up the back, relax, tighten up the back, relax, all right? So that's that. The next exercise, you're going to need the ball, right? Now you don't always have to have the ball. I'm going to show you one with the ball and another one without. Essentially, you're going to do that wall angel movement that we did during the stretching movement, but this one is more a strengthener. So you're going to lean against the stub of the ball, just like so. You're going to have two water bottles and you're just going to bring your arms back and forth like this. Okay? Now what if you don't have a stability ball like this? Then you just do it on the floor. Perhaps put a little pillow underneath your chest and you can do the same exact thing. Okay? So those are the three exercises that you can try. So as a recap, there are three components at the Active Family Chiropractic that we do here. Okay? First is to ensure that the joint and the spine is actually in a good alignment, it's moving well. Second, you want to make sure that you're stretching the front area of your structure. And third is to strengthen the back muscles. Okay? So on the next video, we're going to give you more tools and how to improve your overall posture. And be sure to subscribe and you know hit the notification button, right? And do like our uh, video as well. And if you have more comments as far as what other videos that you'd like to see, uh, if you have any questions about this particular video, please do put it in the comment section. And remember, a healthy spine is a healthy life. Don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe and click the notification bell to see our weekly videos. To learn more about how Wellness Chiropractic and the Active Family Chiropractic and Wellness Center can help you with your chronic pain problems, please visit www.wellnesschiropractor.com. The Active Family Chiropractic and Wellness Center is located at 80 Queen Street South in Mississauga, Ontario, L5M1K4.